نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك من طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا متعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحيتنا واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا ونصرنا اللهم على من عادانا اللهم ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا اللهم ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا يا رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد وصلي وسلم على من بعث رحمة العالمين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وعنا معهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى The most compassionate, the most merciful All praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم He who is guided by the will of Allah No one can misguide him and he who is misguided No one can guide him except Allah سبحانه وتعالى Alhamdulillah that we all bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Assalamu alaikum, respected brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of your deeds in Eid and in Ramadan. Taqabbal Allah. Kinship between Islam and liberal world in light of Eid and Ramadan. I want to highlight a little bit the concept of Silat al-Rahm between in light of Islamic way of understanding and in light of Eid and Ramadan compared with the liberal, secular, individualistic way of thinking. Now, 
The context that I'm trying to send by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to highlight the attitude of gratitude from our hearts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the aim of the khutbah and this is the title of the khutbah. Kinship, blood relations, taking care of your relatives, between Islam and liberal way and ideology in light of Eid and Ramadan. First of all, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept of all of your deeds and our deeds. Allahumma amin. We need really to say alhamdulillah for the fact that Allah has honored us by the fact that we are still alive and we were able by the will of Allah that we fasted the shahr of Ramadan. By the will of Allah. By the way, if Allah did not will, none of us could have done it. None of us, I'm on the top of you. It's just by the will of Allah. Illa ayyasha Allah. Illa ayyadha Allah. If Allah had Allah not willed, none of us could have prayed or did taraweeh or anything. Alhamdulillah. So we need really to appreciate the fact we were able to fast the Shah Ramadan. Because as we all know, forget non Muslims now. Just Muslims. We are two billions. I don't know how many of you are familiar of some Arab countries. We have what they call Khiyam Ramadaniya. Some Arabs they are aware of that are talking about. And for it's very shameful. Some Arab countries we say Khiyam Ramadaniya. Literally means Ramadanic tents, which means a place of gathering with the huge tents where they bring female dancer. Some of you, you know what I'm talking about. Some Arab countries, female dancers, and they do something similar, 90% to striptease. In Ramadan. Muslim, I'm talking about Muslims now. <laughs> some Arab countries, they do it. The fact that some people, they spend the nights of Ramadan in Khiyam Ramadaniyya, looking at a female naked dancer, while you are doing the taraweeh, wallah, it's a ni'mah. May Allah guide them. I will talk it just from pure social point of view and individual point of view. I will not talk it from political point of view. Forget. This is another, uh, something else. Who's planning for that? It's another story. But I'm talking about us as individuals now. Any one of us can take the action, the decision to go or not to go. Anyone can t go to hookah and shisha and to spend all the night watching movies or some kind of games or football or soccer or whatever and doing the hookah or shisha and he did the suhoor then he goes to, to, to sleep before the fajr. <laughs> oh my God. And he's fasting the month of Ramadan. It happens. May Allah guide them. The fact that you are not from those in itself it's a ni'mah. Because we have millions like those people. Let's start with this. But... In addition now, the fact that we were able to celebrate the Eid, we need to highlight the, gra the attitude of gratitude as well. Because as I was saying last day or two days ago, we need to appreciate even our celebrations because our celebrations are unique. As quickly I said, when we say the word celebration, some people they were asking, Ya Sheikh, can we celebrate while others are in pain? I said, look, we do use the word celebration, but ours, I mean celebrations, are unique and unlike others. When we celebrate, we celebrate after a ta'a, after an act of worship. We thank Allah. When we go, we, we go to thank with humbleness. Uh, before that, none of us, by the will of Allah, may Allah accept of you, but already has had paid the Sadaqat al-Fidr. We do the act of Qiyam. We have already done the act of Salah, Qiyam, Taraweeh, and we paid the donation, and we go there to say thanks for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After that, we celebrate by inviting each other to the food, or we giving the idea, this kind of gift, money gift to our kids. So it's a solidarity, it's a social, you know, connections unlike most of other communities so we in our celebrations we don't drink we don't have mixed parties we don't have men and women they dance and have drugs and then 90 percent of them they have sexual harassment and sexual assaults and they go to the and the next night you no one knows what happened last night we don't have it 
So yes, we use the word celebration, but it's a unique celebration. It's the only pure divine celebration because we follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. So the fact that we were enabled to have a clean, pure aspect of celebration as an act of worship in itself needs a celebration that we are enabled in the time where the majority of people, they do the other things. When you say celebration, drink. Celebration, drugs. Celebration, mixed parties. Celebration, in many cases, or at least in some cases, you have a problem of sexual assaults and <laughs> attacks and harassments next day, and the police, they start working and investigating. Do we have it in the Islamic community? No. No? <laughs> have you ever heard about celebration in the masjid? Did we have a sexual assault? Or no, it does not exist in our vocabulary. We don't know it. Alhamdulillah. Because by default, not because we are angels, because following the commandments. Because following the system, simply. It has nothing to do with our race. It has nothing. It's simply we are following the best system, period. That's it. It's designed by Allah. Allah has not left this to our desires. If it's up to our desires, we will find 10 ways how to mix with sisters and we will justify it. <laughs> because by nature, we would love to have it. By nature. Because Allah knows our natures. He put the system. <laughs> simply, very simple. Very simple. And by the way, if some say, no, 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 you know, when we are civilized, say, no, 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 Habibi, forget civilization. If we don't have traffic, for example, okay, forget Islam and forget religion. Let's come to pure secular countries. Let's talk about North America. If we don't have a very strict traffic law, if it's up to the civilized people, how many youth will restrict themselves to the speed limit? By Allah, what's the percentage? Maybe zero. Can you imagine someone with a sports car restrict himself because he's civilized? <laughs> Porsche and Ferrari, because civilization will stop him not to enjoy high speed on the desert? Come on, Habibi, come on. <laughs> Please, for God's sake. You need the law and enforcement of the law. And the police should be there. And the CCTV cameras should be there. And the power of enforcement. And they will chase him and will take him, will suspend the car and he will lose the points. I will pay money, I will go to the jail. By this, he will respect the society. This is the reality, even the secular world. Can anyone deny what I'm saying? Can anyone challenge me otherwise? No. So subhanAllah, we, we, we do it. Some, same thing in the financial or the world of money. Imagine if they left the tax payments up to our civilized <laughs> attitude. <laughs> oh, Habibi, no tax will be paid. <laughs> Why should I, as a human being, if someone's forcing me, I mean, if it's, if it's up to human beings, who would pay tax? <laughs> Just because of ethical, civilized people. No one will do it. Unless human beings are fear of the accountability the jail and the power of the law and the enforcement of the law, maybe 99% will people will not do it. So subhanAllah, but the difference, difference we have a divine law. Difference that liberal, secular, whatever law, once you can misuse the law and sometimes you use the law and you sometimes you put the law for you, that's why people of power, they design the law for themselves. <laughs> so use the law. It's corruptions by law. We can't have it in the divine system. No one can corrupt the divine system because it's hudud and it's fixed directly. No one can play this game. Anyone can at any time, secular, non-secular, liberal, whatever, atheist, they can justify the importance of selling and manufacturing or the industry of alcohol. They can justify it because it brings money. It does have benefits. Those who trade alcohol, they benefit. The tax receivers, they benefit. But the destruction of the society, of this device, al-aql, who cares? As long as the people of power are cared. In Islam, even if all Muslim leaders now, let's imagine that we have 60 leaders. Let's imagine. If all they gathered and they have consensus that we will vanish, we will delete the hukum of the prohibition of alcohol. We say, Habibi, well, shh, shh, yeah. <laughs> who, who cares? We don't care. The hukum is haram. No one can play this dirty game with the Quran. No one. That's it, in the Quran. It's finished. 
فاشتنبوا it means حرام to drink it حرام to manufacture حرام to buy حرام to hold it in your truck حرام to sell the grape and the apple to the factory that makes alcohol حرام to sit with someone who's here حرام to speak with her it's about 13 different categories of حرام it's a disaster multiplied by 13 and no ruler even if, from the, even if we have in theory now someone from decent shape of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they speak as the decent shape of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I'm the colleague no one cares because we look at the Quran you are a human being you are corrupted out that's why the power of the Islamic system <laughs> because it's Allah it's we this is the majestic we it's we who reveals him down you know this revelation the dhikr al Quran and it's us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will preserve it. It's not up to you and me. That's why you have the tranquility and peace of mind when you rely on Islamic system. No one can corrupt it. <laughs> because Allah has given the promise to protect it. In light of this, I, my, my point, the attitude of gratitude. I want just to, to bring to our hearts, including myself, number one, to appreciate the ni'mah, the blessing that we have. Ramadan is an aspect of this ni'mah. Eid gathering is an aspect of this ni'mah. It's just a, some aspect of practical, technical application of big, huge ni'mah that we have, the divine system preserved. This is the main points I'm trying to highlight, inshallah, in this third chapter. To appreciate this. To appreciate our celebration. To appreciate this. In light of this, I want just to highlight now the core point, which is Salat al-Rahim, to keep the good relations with your blood relatives, your kinship on top. This word, Rahim, Salat al-Rahim. One of the high, great, big values that we are encouraged in Ramadan and in Eid to take care of is Salat al-Rahim. Salat al-Rahim, to have, to keep in contact with an excellence, with your blood relations, with your relatives, with those people who are from your family and relatives. Now, where on earth can you find this? We need to appreciate. Now, let, let's go back just a few days ago. You know, the last time of paying Sadaqat al-Fitr is the Eid prayer. After that, we have lost the opportunity. That's an obligation. Every Muslim should pay it. Look to the beautiful things that we have it. Nearly every Muslim, as long as you have a food for that day, you need to pay. Which means we have two things. 99% of Muslims will practice and fulfill the duty of Sadaqah as compulsory act of worship. Which means they will practice the donations on my level. Can you imagine what this means? Can you imagine? No one can force them. No legal power or policing system is chasing them, but they are all afraid not to do it. They have to do it. Can you imagine if Sadaqat al-Fitr, let's say, let's say, for example, $15 in our Canadian dollars. Let's say 10 US dollars, just to use the number 10. 10 US dollars. If the two billions paid it, Two billions multiplied by 10. Can you imagine in a few days that we have 20 billion dollars? Quick donation without any house to feel in any burden. Just like this. And no policing system to chase them. No one is forcing them. It's just for the sake of Allah. But what is this? This is the larger level of Salat al-Rahim. <laughs> Let's come to the Eid. We are encouraged in the Eid to have our new clothes, and we are encouraged to have a shower, to put the perfume, to go to the musalla. Highly encouraged, or what we call in the fiqh language, a tawsi'ah ala al-iyal wal-ahl. Tawsi'ah, which means, it's a word which means do your best to make life easy let them enjoy give money give gifts invite for food let them feel happy by make their life easy and one of the tra beautiful traditions that we have because of islamic understanding what we call al-idiyya it's this money gift 
that is very common. I don't know non-Arab communities, but I'm talking about Arab communities. It's a basic life in our life. The idea for the kids and the idea especially from the male figures to the female figures, even the married, if they are grandmammies even. My sister, even if she's 60 now, I give her an idea. But she's married, she has four idea. An attitude of just honoring the female. I wish a feminist <laughs> can comment in this. They are fighting for feminist group, liberal feminism, <laughs> if they can find it. They are working 24 hours just to eat bread and drink. And they are thrown in the streets sometimes in the age of 30 or 40 because sexually they are not sexual objects anymore in the liberal, some liberal societies in Islam. The concept of idea, solidarity, spreading happiness, making the people honoring. And some people, alhamdulillah, Allah honored them. They understand. They use the umbrella of idea to solve the problems without attacking the dignity. In light of the idea, they go to their, for example, cousins, female cousins, something, give them instead of tens or hundreds, they might give 1,000, 2,000, okay? Because we have people of honor. They are poor, but they are not ready to let the people look down to them. All of this kind of social solidarity, it's mixed with our act of worship. Other countries, they put laws. They can't fulfill it. They can't force the people on it. So let's appreciate, this is the first part of my khutbah, to appreciate the general, general idea of the beauty of Islam and the honor that Allah is honoring by the fact that we are living Islam, breathing Islam, applying Islam, at least in light of Salat al-Rahm. I say this, and I pray for Allah and for you, O Fawz al-Mustafir. Inna alhamdulillah, ahmaduhu subhanahu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa na'urru billahi min shuri anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil falan tajida lahu waliya murshida. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير. Now let's compare it very quickly with what I call it the liberal world, which is based on secularism. Liberal world. Now the solidarity that I was highlighting just a few minutes ago, it's based. I'm talking about صلاة الرحم. صلاة الرحم by default, the translation we are talking about the blood relations, which means families and extended families by default. So in Islam, by the way, Islam is addressing people by default what we should have, families and extended families. We have the concept of Salat al-Rahim as a basic. We have the concept of Al-Aqila. Maybe many of you have not heard Al-Aqila. Al-Aqila from the word Al-Aqil. It's the group of close blood relations in case if I did by mistake killed someone which is Al-Qatl al khata was driving a car by mistake. I had, for example, sugar in my blood or I lost consciousness or, or I did cause a car accident and I caused the death of someone. We have in Islam the diya. A diya, it's the blood money. When I cause the death by mistake of someone, we pay like a compensation, okay? We don't have insurance companies. We have Al-Aqila system. Al-Aqila system, they are the close blood relations who are forced Islamically to gather and to collect the money to pay it. It's not me, all of these blood relations, which means, and they are called Al-Aqila, from the word Al-Aqil. And the word Al-Aqil has come from Al-Iqal. Al-Iqal, maybe many of you, you know, when you say, in our action, say Al-Iqal. You know Al-Iqal? When we have the Kufiya, some Arabs, they put Al-Igal. Al-Igal, this kind of two very tight circles that we put it. From Al-Aql wal iqal it's when you bring a rope and you tight it very strong to fix something. This is called Iqal, okay? When you taqil it dabah halla aqalta dabah have you not fixed it tightly with this rope? This is called Al-Aql. That's why Al-Aql summi aqlan because it does the action of Aqil means, which means 
my device, al-aql, it tights me and it fixes me not to do something wrong. <laughs> now they took the word al-aql, which means the group of blood relations, they are forced to pay if I made a mistake the money. So therefore, they have the right to interfere in my life if I'm about to make a mistake to cause anything. They have the right to say, if I'm driving the car in a very tough way, I don't care. He has that to say, Habibi, come. We don't know the police system sometimes because the aqila will come and stop me by force. My cousin has the right to stop me because if I did a mistake, he would be influenced. <laughs> this is Islam. You know, you know, beauty of Islam is what? If any country at any time, the government is missed, people can run themselves. This is financial system. I'm talking about the blood money. I'm talking about killing someone by mistake. I'm talking about donations. I'm talking about not to leave anyone in hunger. By default, within minutes, everyone will fix the problem. Why? Because it's a divinely designed system. It's not up to us. If that's up to us, the powerful people will do whatever they want. The rest of the poor people, they will be thrown in the street. And that's it. And this is what happens nearly every where. Why am I saying this? I'm just paying your attention to the importance of the family and the concept of al-aqila and the extended family. Why? As we say, sometimes you can't appreciate what you have till you compare it with others. Show me who on earth now there is a system who's taking care in the what so-called liberal societies to take care of the family or the extended family. Actually, everything goes against this. Liberalism is based on what now? Individualism. Me. The government pays everything. My scholarship. Child care. My food. So from the very beginning, as if the government is telling my parents, it's not yours. He's ours. Okay. So I'm not connected. I'm not dependable on my parents. Disconnected. I'm living by my law. I will have loans to study, loans to work, long as an entrepreneur. Okay, what else? I'm living by my own. The journey of desires and enjoyment. 2022, 20, 25. You know, I work very hard, I earn money, I have my girlfriend, I drink, I enjoy, fancy car, I travel, I do X, Y, blah, 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 blah. And I start by 30 to prepare myself for to be a member paying installments for my retirement house in the early 60s. <laughs> Why? Because I know that I will not have a family. Why? Because I know that no one will take care of me. So why should I care? This is the system. Why should I care if my mother is dying just two hours ago? Okay, let the health care system take care of her. I paid my tax, let them take of her. Hello? Mr. Sa yes, we want to tell you that your mother passed away. Okay, please finish everything and I will send you the money. Thank you, because I'm busy, I have a meeting. Hello, thank you. What? What? <laughs> but this is what happens. Why? Because of the individualism, because of the liberalism, because of the, which completely, we don't have it in the Islam system if we are applying Islam. So I want to, you just, by the way, from one angle to appreciate what we have. From another angle, to take care not to lose it. From the third angle, we are living with a majority who are suffering. We need to have sympathy and empathy for them and to let them know our system. Maybe when they know it, by your good actions, they will adapt it. It's like, Allah gives the best examples. It's like, imagine, imagine someone now, and I'll finish this example by this. Imagine, just a simple example, someone now is still using Nokia 707, whatever. You know, remember that Nokia? <laughs> the old Nokia, just hardly text messages, which means not a smartphone. Imagine someone is using the old Nokia in the 90s now, with all the smart, and you are having iPhone 15 Pro Max. What are the benefits that he's losing? He's just using Nokia, old one with text. The only thing he can do just to make a telephone call and to send a very simple text, that's it. You can 
Make conference calls. All of your accountants, you can make video conferences. You can put all of your data. You can film a cinematic footage on yours. You can take care of your of banking accounts. You have security. You can have a cloud storage. You can, it's a, you, I mean, hundreds, thousands of applications. Compare yourself with that simple, humble who thinks he has the best with Nokia <laughs> telephone calls. This how could be the difference between our system and other systems. But if this person has no idea about your iPhone 15 Pro Max, you need to approach him in a nice way and to give him a presentation. You need him to realize what does it mean a touch screen. He does not know it. <laughs> you need to let him see when he sees his mother 15,000 kilometers from here through the video. Hi, mama. Oh my God, I can speak with her. Yes. But mine does not work. Yes, because I have the latest updated, the best. You don't know it. Please have an idea. <laughs> It's this simplest presentation. This is exactly why we need the da'wah. <laughs> you can't make a da'wah if you don't know your religion. You can't make a da'wah if you are not proud of your religion. You can't make a da'wah if you are not practicing your religion with the pride and you feel the honor and the izzah. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible by default. So let's use the, the occasion of Eid and Ramadan and the fact of solidarity, closeness, the power, this kind as a motive or a motivation to push us to the area of attitude of the gratitude. What shall I do next? Be a living example for Islam. Be a da'iyah. Let everyone around you know about this great religion. ويوم العرض عليك يا كريم اللهم إنا عبيدك أبناء عبيدك أبناء إمائك نواصنا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك نسألك بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا يا رب العالمين اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبوء لك بنعمتك علي وأبوء لك بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت اللهم أنت تعلم يا الله ماذا يحدث لإخواني المستضعفين ومشارق الأرض ومغاربها يا رب تقبل شهداءهم وداو جرحاهم واشف مرضاهم وانتقم ممن خانهم وخذلهم يا رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة